Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'm going to show you how you can design a dress holder stand in Kitsia V5. So in this whole tutorial I'll be showing you step by step and I'll be uh, dealing with different workbenches like assembly design, part design, generative shape design etc. So let's see how we can keep going. So firstly, open a new product file. product click OK and you can name the new product as a dress holder stand study and click OK and that the name got changed and now what you can do is select this product and go for insert new part click on the product and you get the new part. So whenever you are working on this kind of design it's a good practice to name each and every instance by its name. Say for example we create the main road first so main it, name it as uh, main road and the best part of working it one by one as a part is let me introduce that so let's say for example I was I had created this rim with the main road so what happens is I cannot change the position of this particular rim in this particular case, case what you can do is once you're on the product you can always go for edit move manipulate and you can always change the position of the rim if required the same is the case with uh, any of the other component so it's always better if you are segregating the parts and uh, designing it. So let's come back to the other study file and firstly let's firstly create a firstly get into the part file and switch back to the part design workbench so as it's an easy component we can do it with part design workbench and uh, once you're on the sketcher workbench just make sure that you are your unit is uh, set to meters so it's meters here it's in the options general parameters and measure there is a exclusive tutorial for changing the units uh, which is there available in my channel you can, you can just check it out too alright now just uh, create the circle there and specify the circle diameter as uh, somewhere 0 0.015 0 0.05 let's see let's see uh, how much will be apt come out of the sketch and do a padding maybe you can give a 1.5 meter of radius here so this will be apt this will be the apt size so when you are uh, following this tutorial just keep in mind that all the sizes which is being done in this uh, tutorial are all assumptions and uh, it's not really uh, maybe this these dimensions won't be exact when it comes to the real life uh, situations so this tutorial is simply going to give you an idea how you can create a dress stand that's it now let's uh, go for the sketch and create the yx plane now yz plane now what you can do is you can zoom into this particular portion here and simply create a circle that's uh, we're gonna create a bob here the sum of this size sum of this size and just project this particular line to 3d and then select this line now you can just uh, use the axis and put this axis here you'll understand why I've put that axis in few minutes now use the three-point arc and put the first, second and the third over here. Now you got to know why I have uh, projected it to 3D otherwise I would have not got that point. Now another important part is just make this line and this circle tangential. Now uh, what else you can do? Now you'll understand why I've put this axis here. You can just go for erase and just erase this portion. If this axis was not there, you would have not been able to erase that like that. Now just uh, 
increase the radius to maybe 105 uh, let's put a curve on that come out of the sketch and go for shaft and that's it so you got a bob on the top let's see how we can continue the design in the next part of our tutorial if you have any doubt on this particular part of the tutorial please comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you and uh, that's it and keep watching and stay tuned